All right, Derby fans, less than a minute to go before the beginning of the second half. Don't forget, of course, our second bout this evening. We still have another bout to go. It'll be the Schoolyard Scrappers versus the Coffin Draggers. So that's to come up later on this evening. We've just uh, got an up. Oh. Oh, sorry. No, we're just both excited because our 50-50 raffle is now at $125, which means you win 60-something, you know, and Correct. a 62 50. I'm a music teacher. Well, we'll I round up. Math. We'll give you 63 because we're cool like that. I actually that. don't know if that's how we do it, so yeah. I would not make that claim or promise. You know what? I'll, I'll throw an extra buck in the pot just to make sure that they, you know it. There we go. Thank but you. But half Thank you. of the money for the 50-50 raffle goes to the league and perhaps the minor. That's right. Yeah, the minor assaults. The 50-50 raffle benefits the minor assaults. Don't forget those so raffle tickets are always on sale. If you love children. That's right. The raffle tickets are on sale by people walking around waving the tickets. They are, for the cash raffle, one for $5 or three for 10 And for the prize raffle, those are a dollar each or six for $5. And we have Dirty Carrie and Skella Tori on the jammer line. Tightly bunched pack, and now Carrie's going to try to play some jammer defense. Tori's going to bounce through and is now fighting against the front wall. Yeah, Carrie is struck behind a strong beauty's wall. Tori is also caught up. Ooh, some. I'm going to be honest, I don't know what's happening. Well, there is some skullduggery afoot. Now racing well, around the outside, there goes Dirty Carry. The Brutal Beauties are trying to execute a star pass. Yeah, and, there and it, it goes. looks like it was successful. Yes. I will be honest, I did know that that was happening, but we try yes, not yes. to like right, right. totally announce it if they're trying to be sneaky. Yeah, there's Dirty Carry on a scoring pass, and once Jammer, now Blocker, Skeletori at the back of the pack, and Carry's yeah, going to call it Tori up. Yeah, Tori did a very nice job keeping Carry to just get one point. Like one on one, Tori stopped Carry. That was very yeah. nice. In case you're wondering, it is, it, uh, Sandy knows this, but it's a little bit of announcer decorum that if there's like a star pass or something strategic going on, we just kind of have to sit up here and go, and uh, there, there's a thing. Oh, there's pink is down a There jammer. we go. So a penalty perhaps on that. And it looks like, so it's Tory, which means it happens before the before pass. The right, pass. Yeah, because it, or it, perhaps it does. It, perhaps it was the pass. It could have been. We don't know. So Power Jam for the Bombshells. Once again, the Bombshells have made hay on the Power Jam so far, and it's Tornado Alley. And Alley is fighting in the front against Muerta and Sydney Satan. That front wall oh, but they're, is They there. let Alley go, but I don't know. Yeah, they it were. It looks split, but who knows? It looked like it. I'm I, not a ref. I saw a signal go up from Lollicop at the back of the pack, and then Alley took off. So Yeah, I'm not a ref, so I right, just. Right, exactly. Uh, I leave that to the regulators. Ooh. Allie nice gets taken to the infield, so has yeah. to reset. Nice clip there by Muerta with Allie coming through, just kind of redirected Allie's momentum down to the infield. And then there goes Allie dipping through a cut in the defense with 17 you, seconds to go in the power jam. You know something's going awry when you can hear Al yell, a wall from that, in, well, not the infield, the audience, the crowd. And then there that time you saw that the defense was Because this time they were in a wall. And so they stopped Alley very well. Alley spins around Muerta, and that'll do it for the jam. Let's check on that score from the infield and see if Alley got all the points on I that last scoring pass. She did. She got how many? Ten? All ten. Ooh, all right. All five on both scoring. That was the last skater she had to get by at the very end. Was I will Muerta. say ten points is usually a pretty oh. And now, yes. Hold on. A the power jam? We're going to have beauties? the Power Jam swing back the other way now. The Brutal Beauties now have a Power Jam. Unfortunately, the Beauties also have two blockers in the box. Yes, that is also a thing. So there's a full complement of blockers for the Bombshells on this Power Jam, and the Beauties have two defenders out there trying to help. Ooh, and Twin is doing a wonderful job fighting her way through the front, trying to get a little help from, it looks like, Razor Cat and Prime. Bombshells are doing a very nice job keeping it fast, or just fast enough. Beauties are splitting the pack, and then, ooh, playing some offense. And there's a big block by Jaeger, and Jaeger finishes the block, complete with a stare down on the infield. I saw that. Now Evil Twin trying to get by that defensive wall. I'm going to say it again, Impaler Swift, Scary Jaeger. 
the usual suspects there at the back yeah, of the pack for the Yeah, you got Skid and Carry as well. Right. No, it's been it, it, trying to get through that back wall of bombshells it's, defenders has been a fool's and errand. It's, it's very hard when you only have two blockers oh, yeah. trying to play offense. Right. If you have a full complement of blockers as we continue to kill time. There we go. At this point, <laughs> it looks like Twin stopped jamming because, honestly, you don't want to get a penalty. Yeah, at that point, exactly. If you notice, we had two power jams back to back. It's very, very common for a jammer to get desperate when they're power jamming and then get some sort of penalty. So you might as well just stop that momentum. It does look like, unfortunately, now the, b the bombshells only have two blockers out. So the bombshells are sending Tornado Alley to the jammer line and jamming for the Brutal oh, Beauties. Oh, some That's beautiful Huerta. offense. There goes Some Huerta. really wonderful yeah, offense absolutely. from the Beauties. Excellent offense right from the jump by the Brutal Beauties and Huerta's out and clear in her first jam of this battle. And some wonderful recycling from the Beauties as well. Oh, Muerta takes a hit from Impaler Swift but gets around anyway. Muerta usually skates for the Doomsday Valkyries and is a graduate from our Minor Assaults That's program. Right. There we go. This time now there's Allie trying and to play Muerta some jammer And Muerta does defense. a really great job staying on the track when I don't feel like she should be able to. So this has kind of turned into an, uh, a de facto power jam for the There we beauties. go. Very wonderful work from where I'm sorry, Clifton, I got no, excited no problem and at I interrupted all. Obviously, you. Obviously, the scoring is the important part. But you can see Tornado Alley is sort of pinned at the back now and is just going to resign herself to playing jammer yeah, defense. Walling up with Impaler Swift. Huerta is going to try to get a few points. Ooh, took, takes a rough fall and the jam clock runs out. There we go. So an excellent first jam on the night from Huerta. We'll check on that score there. And I don't want to give it away too much while we went on the score, but there is no bombshells jammer out there. So I think oh we're just no. going to go from a de facto power jam to an actual power jam for the Brutal yeah, Beauties. Yeah, I see some shuffling happening. Unfortunately, now the Beauties have two people in the penalty box. All right, so now we go right back to a Brutal Beauties power jam. It's going to be Skeletory. The Beauties just put 10 points on the board in that last jam. And let's like see if they can the keep the offense up, going. The Beauties put up rookie Avril Labine, and they're like, just have fun. Do a power O oh, with only two people. All right, oh. so there we are. Skeletori quickly up to that defensive wall, which stopped me if you've heard this before, is... Uh, oh, but this time Tori gets go. out Look in turn that. two. Tori bounces through. Some great offense from Evil Twin, and then some bombshells just took a tumble. So now the Brutal Beauties are going to try to wall up here at the back of the pack. And they do so successfully. So they're going to try to stay linked up here and keep Skeletori from getting through. Evil Twin is just trying to create some turbulence, like a rock in the stream, making the defenders go around her. And oh, goodness. Skeletori just got ungrounded. Luckily, what every, a person by Gold Digger. every person whose hips Tori passes is a point. That's right. So she's still scoring points. Now, unfortunately, once you get someone's point, you can't get it again. Yes. So oh. now trying to just, you can see Tori is now just trying to dip her hips in front of as many skaters as possible, and the clock is going to get called off here by Tori. Yeah, it's a good strategy as a blocker yep. to try to do your best to keep track of whose points you already and Tori have. Tori did. Tori got all five. You can there tell. You can see jammers counting sometimes, and they'll know when they've got all five of those points. Yeah, because if you already have all those points and you know you're not going to get some more, just stop. Mm-hmm. So here we are, our next jammers. This is going to be Skid Vicious. Oh my goodness, we have two beauties in the box again. And two bombshells in the box. Wow, yeah, guys. Yeah, we have a very short Light pack this time. Pack. You can see both jammers, Skid and Slaya, long time jammers here. There they oh, go. Oh, and both off. jammers get out. They've taken off, and Skid's going to call it off. Oh, now, man. Now, don't look. Oh, the crowd boos. Oh, the crowd is booing. Wow. Oh, no. I will say this. I think someone got oh, yeah. a failure okay, to yeah. reform. Everybody that's booing, I want to see you outrun Princess Slaya with wheels on so her feet. True. I dare you. I was going to say, can <laughs> you outrun Princess Slaya even if there are not wheels on her feet? All Probably right, we've got not. a team timeout. Team timeout, Brutal Beauties. So 7.25 to go here in the third quarter. Bombshells 117, Brutal Beauties 61. So I heard someone yell failure. And failure to reform is a difficult penalty that happens a whole lot. So if you hear them call split pack, that means everyone has to kind of try to get back together. And if you don't, you get a penalty. So we'll see. Okay, so Black at least got one failure to reform. 
you had mentioned, Sandy, too, about people subbing, and that's uh, what we've been doing here with our home teams is to make sure that everybody fields a full roster. There's a pool of sub skaters and then also people that have been skating. People that are regular members of teams such as Scary Nieger on the bombshells, and Nieger has subbed in, you know, on several teams here so far well, early this season. Well, but Jaeger's actually skating for their but team it's very, right But it's now. very nice, and it helps us field full home teams for the bouts and really you know, helps the league go round. And it's been nice to get back in here in our second full season. Don't look and get things now, underway. but beauties have nobody in the penalty box. So now it's going to be Princess Slaya, and it's going to be Scary Jaeger for the bombshells, speaking of Jaeger. Oh, I see the people who are booing are fans of Slaya. I understand. I get it now. I thought you were booing Slaya. I get it. You wanted Slaya to pass her. Okay, I get it. Tightly bunch pack, Speaking. and now there's Jaeger racing oh. around oh the outside, man. and there goes Jaeger. Speaking of a jammer race Now we got a jammer Slaya. race, and there's Princess Slaya breaking out behind, heading to the front straightaway, and dicking into the inside corner is Karen Jaeger, and Jaeger's going to call it off. I get it. Pro Princess Slaya doing. again forcing the call off. Look at that. Yeah, nobody wants to challenge Slaya, and again, Look, like we've said, I blame don't them. blame them. No. Slay is very fast and extremely athletic. She'll beat you. We have co-captain versus co-captain. That's right. Evil twin versus dirty carry. It's a lieutenant jam. There's some people. There's some. There we go. People on the track calling out instructions to the bombshells bench. You don't see that too often. Meanwhile, duck down to the inside. Hannibal Lecture had bumped twin off and twins out. Twins lead jammer for the beauties. Twin is coming around to score some points. Dirty Carry is still struggling behind a beauty's wall that is recycling. Oh, and Twin jumps through. And Carry is still stuck behind, it looks like Tori and Razor Cat. So now Twin coming up to the pack again on another scoring attempt as there goes Dirty Carry out the front of the pack. Twin oh, weaving through. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful cut. Well, not cut and like Twin the penalty, calls but lateral. Two very slick scoring passes there by Evil Twin. B Brutal Beauties are going to put nine more up on the board. Brutal Beauties, Ooh. Brutal Beauties up to 70. Timeout for the bombshells. That's right. Bombshells are going to take a timeout here and discuss. I so do that lead has dropped under 50 at the point. Bombshells 117, Brutal Beauties 70. Beauties are chipping away at it. it 541 to go in the yeah, third Yeah, if quarter. I had to guess, the bombshells are talking about how to stop this Brutal Beauty momentum. While we wait, I would love to tell you about our merch booth. Be sure to visit the Arizona Derby Dames merch booth to get your favorite league and team merchandise. We have brand new t-shirt designs from your favorite teams and check out our discounted merch. This is also where you can get your souvenir cups for the night. Come grab some keychains, tote bags, patches, and more. And watch out for our new merch cart. Our goods can now come to you. Is that true? I didn't know that. That's fun. By the way, we have fans in there, like, like, you know, fan yourself off if you're too warm. I got one recently. They're great. I would highly recommend the fan if you get warm quickly. All right, back to the action we go. And we're going to roll into a jam here. We uh, wanted to point out, they've told us from the scoring department, that the, bomb sh the Brutal Beauties are on a 24-0 run at the moment, so the Beauties are definitely and chipping away. the Bombshells also have a blocker in the box, so Beauties have a player advantage. We've got Tornado Alley for the Bombshells. And, and Gypsy Danger for the Beauties. So Gypsy is running on the high against Enema Burns, but gets stopped by Jaeger and Swift. Oh, but there Gypsy goes, chasing Allie, who has already gotten out in turn one. You can see Allie got out there, and I could pretty much guess that the bombshells had emphatically yeah, bombshells said we're are going keeping to a point get in lead the back. jam. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Allie, Allie weaves her through. way through the pack. And the bombshells use that team timeout to their advantage, so they could staunch that run a little bit. Four points for the bombshells up on the board. It's going to be Skeletori now for the Brutal Beauties. And that is Dirty Carry for the Bombshells. And you already said Tori. I was going to say and Tori. Yes. We already said that. I got distracted. Ooh, I saw some great offense from Hannibal Lecture, but Prime did a great job recycling to stop Carry on the high. But Carrie gets out in that apex, but Tori 
also gets out. Carrie did, Carrie did not notice that Tori was also out, and I did literally see Tori look behind her, go crap, and then call it off. So that's fun. All right, no points for either side there. So it's going to be Muerta again for the Brutal Beauties. And that's Tornado Alley for the Bombshells. Alley's been scoring a whole lot of points, but Muerta, as far as I'm aware, has only jammed once, but has did a very amazing job. Yeah, this would be Moritz's second jam of this game. Regulators are spreading out after having discussed a little bit of the action. Oh, Moritz tries to sneak through. Oh, Mer again, Moritz stays on the track when I'm like, girl, how did you not come off? Like that, like that again. Ooh. All right, so Moritz gets out in turn two, but Allie. Also gets out. Muerta starts to skate a little faster, but Allie's coming around and Allie's real fast. There's one black point in the back. Oh! Oh! oh big collision. I, Muerta I, gets knocked down. And when you come off the track, when you come off the track, you cannot call it off anymore. So even though Muerta was touching her hips, since she hit the infield, she can't call it off. Fun fact if the refs actually blow the whistle in that moment, you get a penalty. So luckily for Muerta, they well, did not do that. Muerta picked up a penalty anyhow, she got a, so yeah. it's a moot point. We're going to have a power jam now for the bombshells. I wish I knew what she got. Just anyone about heard, yell it at me. Three minutes to go here in the third quarter, and Dirty carries at the jammer line for the bombshells. Otherwise, a full pack beyond the lack of a jammer for the Brutal Beauties. Beauties are doing a great job keeping it slow in the back. When you can get that back wall right off the bo blocker bo box line, it makes your life a little easier. Ooh, and Twin and Tori are doing a great job recycling, but Carrie gets out going into turn three. 30 seconds left on the power jam. Skeletori is waiting for the pack to catch up to her. Here comes Dirty Carrie now. Gets by that last skater at the back. Ooh, and but there we go. That's Evil Twin hits Carrie off with some great Offense by Hanny, but they recycle anyway. It looks like the beauties will be able to keep this to one scoring pass, which is a great defensive victory for the beauties. Yeah, absolutely. We'll check on the score there and see if it was uh, even a complete scoring pass. It looks like Twin got in arms, unfortunate. So beauties are down one. So four points for the bombshell, bombshells there in that jam. It's going to be Skarin Jaeger for the bombshells. And Princess Slaya for the beauties. Jaeger running along the outside, finds a lane, and Jaeger's your lead oh. jammer for the bombshells. There goes Slaya once and again. Guys, another jammer race with Princess Slaya. Ooh, Slaya almost takes a tumble, but stays on her skates. And Jaeger weaving through the pack. Masterful skating to weave through the pack. Barely touched, finishes off the scoring pass for the bombshells. Slaya almost got a point in the back, but she did not quite make it there in time. Oop, I hear a penalty on Gypsy Danger and arm, so the beauties will be down one again. We're gonna have Skid Vicious here for the bombshells. And that's Skeletori for the Brutal Beauties. Under a minute to go here in the third oh, quarter. Oh, Skid beautifully cuts down on the low. Tori is fighting her way against Thigh Voltage. And that's Gold Digger. Ooh, a rough tumble. Big collision, four skaters down, two for each side. Now Tori's up and is gonna try to take advantage by getting through the pack, and now Tori is gonna take off. And Skid has got her eye on that jammer point, but both the jammers both come the off the track. Yeah, both of them slid off. Tori gets up and calls it off. I believe that technically that would have been one of them Skid. blocked the other, but they both came off, so it's a moot point. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, here we are. Yeah, My exactly. question is more, does she get that point? Mm -hmm. And the rest have decided no, she does not get that point. That makes sense? Did not, indeed, so. Tori Four keeps that last point away. Shows. It's going to be Gypsy Danger for the Brutal Beauties. This and Tornado Alley. It'll be the last jam of the third quarter. The quarter clock has expired. Ooh, 
Ooh, Allie tries to get on the high, but it's stopped by Sydney Satan and Muerta. Gypsy is fighting against one of her own blockers in the front, but gets out. Allie fighting through the pack, and Allie's out as well. We'll try to keep this to one scoring pass for Gypsy Danger. Oh, Gypsy does a nice lateral cut down the track. And oh, gets taken off by Jaeger. Gets on and does not call it off. I don't think Gypsy knew that Allie was so close. Let's check on that. All right, we got three points for the bombshells on the back end of that and four points at the front of the pack. So points for both sides. And that does, in fact, take us to the end of the third yeah, quarter. I will say this. I am going to leave you guys because I play in the next That's game and right. I have to go put my gear on. That's so. right.
get those red raffle tickets ready. Winning ticket number is 591579. 591579. If that is you, head on down to the raffle prize table just outside of turn number two. And we're gonna be getting ready to get going here in the fourth quarter. Your score check right now, Bombshells 140, Brutal Beauty 74. Skeletori for the Brutal Beauties, Dirty Carry for the Bombshells. Tightly bunched pack, Dirty Carry bouncing up and down along that defensive wall of the Brutal Beauties. Skeletori is at the front of the pack fighting against the defensive wall of the Bombshells. And Tori trying to tap dance along the inside. And Tori now is out and is your lead jammer for the, for the Brutal Beauties. It's watching down there to see. It looks like she was okay and legal in getting around that last blocker. So now here's Tori with Dirty Carry playing jammer defense along the back straightaway. Tori routed down to the infield. Now trying once again with Carry up on the high side. Tori clinging to the inside of the track. Runs up to the high and an excellent sliding block by thigh voltage right here in the turn. Tori now up again, bumped up against Skid. And Tori finally gets through and that's gonna eat up the whole rest of the clock. So strong defense there by the Bombshells. Five points by the Brutal Beauties. And we're gonna have a challenge. So we have a challenge. Brutal Beauties are gonna use their second half challenge. So we'll have to check on what that challenge is and what the ruling is. We'll get all that momentarily. So a stoppage here very briefly into the fourth quarter. 13.48 to go in regulation. Bombshells 140, Brutal Beauties 79. Derby fans, don't forget if you're looking for some food options during intermission between the two bouts, we have delicious food outside this evening. Our food truck options are Flying K Barbecue for your food type things. That's slow smoke barbecue meats and Arizona fusion entrees. And we have Egg Squisite. It's a dessert trailer offering a variety of sweet treats specializing in jumbo desserts. If you're looking for something to do after the bout, don't forget that the Derby Dames after party is at Boycott. Boycott Bar is on the corner of Glen Rosa and 7th Avenue. It's just north of Indian School. It is right near Copper Star Coffee, in fact. That's Boycott Bar on 7th Avenue, just north of Indian School. That's the after party location. Come on out and hang out with your favorite skaters. Decompress after the bout. Your next Derby Dames bout is going to be November 11th. November 11th is gonna be the Doomsday Valkyries versus the Schoolyard Scrappers. And then it's the Minor Assaults in a mashup bout. Our Minor Assaults are gonna team up with some of our adult skaters and have a mashup bout to keep their skills sharp. As teams around the country are beginning to have minors competitions and tournaments and things like that as the world kinda gets back to normal. So our Minor Assaults are training and keeping in shape for when tournaments happen and championships need to be won like our minor results did in 2018. The challenge has come to a close and Vendor B. Rodriguez is here to say, the penalty was on the jammer for the Brutal Beauties. It was a cut track and the penalty has been upheld. So challenge unsuccessful and we're gonna have a power jam for the bombshells right here as we get back to the action momentarily. It will not be a power jam for the bombshells. Excuse me, we have a double jammer down, it would appear. I saw a signal for double, j double jammer down. So basically what that means is that the, bomb sh the Brutal Beauties were trying to get a power jam by challenging the penalty on their jammer. Double jammer down means that penalties were assessed to both jammers on the previous play, 
And so what happens is both teams instead lose a blocker and their jammers get to skate. All right, so everybody is just about set. And I saw a game executioner, some Puerto Rican guy, asking the jammers in the penalty box to remove their stars, since they are technically blockers for penalty purposes. So here we are, Gypsy Danger for the Brutal Beauties and Tornado Alley for the Bombshells. The pack is down those two blockers as we mentioned. Gypsy ducks to the inside and gets around Impaler Swift. Gypsy's your lead jammer for the Brutal Beauties. Now those blockers for the beauties at the back of the pack are holding up Tornado Alley. Alley tries to play a little bit of jammer defense and at least impedes the process, progress of Gypsy Danger. Gypsy now at the front of the pack gets knocked down to one knee by a blocker that was Emma, Bur Emma Burns at the front of the pack with a good block, knocking Gypsy off her skates momentarily. Gypsy now fights through along the inside and finishes the scoring pass. Tornado Alley now more than content to play jammer defense well and then tries to dance through but now almost a little faint there and kind of drew in the defenders momentarily. Eight seconds to go in this jam. Here's Gypsy Danger at the back of the pack. Once again, Enema Burns with a great sliding. Oh, well, that was Impaler Swift, excuse me. With a good sliding block down off of the track. I was going to say, I saw that tattoo and I was like, ah, that's Swifty. That's not Burns. So it ends up being an eight point jam for the Brutal Beauties. 12.30 to go in regulation. Brutal Beauties send Evil Twin to the jammer line. Bombshells are gonna send up Skid Vicious. Fun fact, Evil Twin also skates under number 926 is Good Twin. Depends on her mood. Skid Vicious down to the inside and gets routed off to the infield while Twin's just gonna go right down Main Street. And Twin does it the hard way. Evil Twin's your lead jammer for the Brutal Beauties. Skid Vicious bumped to the infield. That defensive wall for the Beauties is up to the task, and there's Skid taking a tumble. Now there's Twin, and Twin dances through along the outside. Evil Twin, another easy scoring pass. Skid Vicious now is out as well, so we'll try to cap this at two scoring attempts for Evil Twin. And Twin tries to jump the coping, and the inside has to get back up, reestablish. Big collision, Evil Twin tried to sprint up on the track and was frantically calling off the jam and trying to block Skid Vicious at the same time. And then Skid Vicious just went headlong into maximum overdrive and it looks like everybody's all right. Skid Vicious does not get any points at the back end. All five of those points there for Evil Twin. 11-11 to go in the fourth quarter. Hello, deja vu. That's Muerta for the Brutal Beauties and Tornado Alley for the Bombshells. And before we get to that, that's some Puerto Rican guy and it's gonna be an official timeout. So the regulators are gonna take a moment to make sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. After that interesting call off at the end, there may be some additional penalties to hash out. 11.08 to go in regulation. Bombshells are preserving that lead. They've been up about this much since the end of the first quarter, give or take. Bombshells 140, Brutal Beauties 92. All right, that official timeout was a score adjustment. So the Brutal Beauties put four more points on the board. A jam total of nine, and your score right now is 140 to 96. So the Bombshells lead 44. Their lead was 60 at the end of the first quarter. Brutal Beauties are going to keep trying to hack away at this. There's 11.08 to go in regulation. Once again, it's going to be Muerta for the Brutal Beauties and Tornado Alley for the Bombshells. Alley tries to go up the gut and is successful. Tornado Alley is your lead jammer for the Bombshells. Muerta now is trying to fight along the inside. Gets some help from her pivot, trying to get through. Now hands the star through, and there we go. That's an excellent star pass by the Brutal Beauties. 
Hands off the start of Princess Slea. Tornado Alley now gets through on a scoring pass. Princess Slea is trying to take over as the jammer of record. Pulls on the star cover, and Tornado Alley's going to call it off. Very, very slick star pass there by the Brutal Beauties. Just skated up in one fluid motion, kind of handed it through the two defenders. That's pretty much literally how you're supposed to do it. So an effective way to get that jam brought to a close after one scoring pass for the bombshells. Dirty Carry is on the jammer line for those bombshells. And your jammer for the Brutal Beauties is Skeletori. I was gonna say, your jammer for the Brutal Beauties is eclipsed by Dirty Carry. Carry now along the rail and Dirty Carry is out. Lead jammer once again for the bombshells. Bombshells are trying to put the finishing touches and make this lead insurmountable if they can. Skeletori fights through the pack to get out for the Brutal Beauties, and now here comes Dirty Carry for the Bombshells, up along the high side. Fights along the high side, calls it off. Four points for the Bombshells there, 148.96 with nine and a half to go in regulation. This'll be Muerta for the Brutal Beauties, and it'll be Scary Nieger for the Bombshells. Long delay. There we go. Underway we go. Both jammers trying the high side. Muerta gets routed down towards the infield and fighting through. There goes Scary Jaeger. Jaeger's out. Lead jammer for the bombshells. Tori was escorted to the infield. That back wall for the bombshells has been fearsome all night long, as I've referenced a few times. Jaeger now going right up the middle, trying to fight through. Muerta gets out for the Brutal Beauties to try to keep this at one scoring pass for Jaeger. Jaeger gets up there and gets Avril Labine pushed out of play, finishes the scoring pass and calls it off. Four more points for the Bombshells. On the jammer line now is gonna be Evil Twin for the Brutal Beauties and Dirty Carry for the Bombshells. Everybody's checking in. Both jammers kind of skated apart and then sort of came back together. Evil Twin gets bumped off to the infield by Dirty Carry, but Dirty Carry can't capitalize and is still trapped at the back behind that defensive wall of Brutal Beauties. Evil Twin is to the front of the pack and then Twin just kind of shoves Skid out of the way and says, get off me. Evil Twin is your lead jammer for the Brutal Beauties. And just that ugly, like, front stiff arm thing going on. Get out of the way! Evil Twin now has had great success jamming these last couple of jams. Twin this time gets routed off to the infield by Skid Vicious at the back of that defensive wall for the Beauties. Dirty Carry now playing jammer defense once again. Trying to make it a little harder for Evil Twin to get through. There goes Dirty Carry around the outside. So Carry's gonna get out. Evil Twin calls it off mid-pack. Evil Twin knew she had all five of those points and calls it off. Brutal Beauties have topped up over 100 for the bout, 152-101, both teams up into triple digits. That's gonna be Bitch Please jamming for the first time for the Brutal Beauties this evening. Bitch Please, and that's Tornado Alley for the Bombshells. Alley up to the high side, finds an opening along the rail and is able to outrun that pivot to the out of play line. So now the beauties are gonna try to get their jammer out and she's able to get around shown up at the front of the pack. So there goes Bitch Please down the front straight away while Tornado Alley is gonna do battle. I saw Sydney Slaughter deliver a shot. And Alley calls it off with the beauties jammer closing in late. Looks like we're gonna have a stoppage in play here. It is gonna be a team timeout for the bombshells. I strongly suspected that that was gonna be the case considering there were no bombshells on the track whatsoever, which is a strange offensive strategy to employ. 
However, it is the much more conventional explanation. It's a team timeout for the bombshells. So with 6.14 to go in regulation, bombshells 156, Brutal Beauties 101. We'd like to let you know about another one of our league sponsors. We'd like to tell you about Siphon Draw Apothecary Shop. Siphon Draw Apothecary Shop is an all-natural, non-toxic, handcrafted skin care product line made by our very own Dolly de los Muertos. If you look down on the infield right now, that's Dolly with the long ponytail and the pink headband on her helmet. Anyway, she's a proprietor, and everything they make smells amazing. Oh my goodness, it is so good, and everything is, ugh, it's great. It smells great. Feel free to look them up on Facebook or visit them at their physical location, which is in the Goldfield Ghost Town off of Historic Highway 88. Back to play we go up to the jammer line is going to be Dirty Carry for the Bombshells, Skeletori for the Brutal Beauties. Skeletori for the Brutal Beauties is going to leave the track. Gotten our penalties straightened out. Looks like Bitch Please did pick up a penalty there, so it's a power jam for the Bombshells. Bombshells now get to go on the offensive again. They've had some very successful power jams in this game. Really how they built this lead. I mean, really, the expanse of this lead is basically built of the three power jams they got in the first quarter. Collision at the back of the pack. We got a blocker down there at the back of the pack for the bombshells. That's Gold Digger getting up and getting back in the action. Still fighting, still trying to get through. Now trying to find an opening in there. Absorbing a block from Colette Razorcat and getting out as Dirty Carry with 19 seconds left on the power jam clock for the bombshells. Defensive walls in front of the pack now. We've got Evil Twin, Colette Razorcat, and Maximum Hoverdrive. Here comes Dirty Carry. Big block. My goodness, Colette Razorcat just got delivered sharply to the infield by Gold Digger. So Gold Digger returning the favor for that big block early on in the jam. And the clock expires. Five points on the power jam for the Bombshells. And a penalty on the Bombshells jammer. So it's a power jam for the Brutal Beauties now with four, just less than five minutes to go in regulation. Lead for the Bombshells right now exactly what it was at the end of the first quarter, 60 points even. Gypsy Danger is going to see if she can do something about that. And Gypsy gets around that first blocker and gets out. Gypsy untouched, out and clear in six seconds here in the power jam. That's what you want to do in the power jam is get your jammer out and clear and in the process of getting around the track. Goes up to the high side, kind of gets a blocker. It picked her up there, rode her down to the infield. Excellent defensive effort. That looked like that was Jaeger back there. Shouldn't be surprised. And there's Gypsy getting dumped again. There's only two blockers out there for the bombshells. And there goes Gypsy Danger finishing off that scoring pass. Impaler Swift and Scary Jaeger are the only two blockers out there for the bombshells. And then Jaeger just drops a shoulder into one of the blockers for the Brutal Beauties. And now those two bombshells blockers are going to try to play keep away. Now they'll run what you call the accordion. And they're going to try to now go ahead. And they do. They succeed in running out the clock. Jaeger gives a, Jaeger gives a big old celebratory wave. That is definitely a defensive victory. Just a five-point power jam for the Brutal Beauties when there was only two defenders out there for the Bombshells. Let's hear it from the Bombshells fans after that defensive effort, right? Defenders do not get enough love, and that was absolutely amazing defense by two people against a team of five. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Al, Al calling out stats, Al applauding. Al and ILH is also always going to call out good defense. You, you gotta be, that's for sure. Al's joining us for the second bout, so you're, you all are going to settle in for Derby 101. Team timeout continues at the moment. This is the beauty's last timeout of the game with 3.35 to go. I'll give us a moment to talk about another one of our sponsors, Tucci's Touch. Tucci's Touch Massage. They specialize in deep tissue, trigger point therapy, and much, much, much more. 
Tucci knows a lot about massage. I, as I am with a lot of our sponsors, am a happy customer of Tucci's Touch. Uh, and I am just a large tangle of scar tissue and pain. So Tucci could get me moving. Tucci can get most anybody moving. Check out Tucci's Touch. Look them up on the Googles. They are here sometimes, not here tonight, but when they're here, they offer free 10 minute chair massages. So definitely avail yourself of that opportunity. We're back to the action. It's gonna be Skid Vicious for the Bombshells and Evil Twin for the Brutal Beauties. And there's Skid racing around the outside. Skid is gonna be your lead jammer for the Bombshells. Twin still fighting to get through, kind of takes a stumble, but then props herself up. Run up into the rail. Gold Digger is gonna kind of slide down and just keep getting in Twin's way. There's a block by Dirty Carry also. And there's Skid fighting through. Skid finishes off the scoring pass. Evil Twin yet to get out. A big collision, big collision. Five skaters down at the back of the pack. Oh my goodness, there's more skaters on their butts than there were on their wheels. So Skid Vicious is gonna try to get through there. Excellent block there by Colette Razorcat. That's that jujitsu block where somebody's coming through with a full head of steam and you just kind of redirect them and then they just sort of spill onto the infield. And that time, Colette Razorcat goes for the block and Skid Vicious wins that battle and gets through. The clock expires, however. 2.24 to go here in regulation. Checking on the score here from the infield. We want to give another shout out again to everybody watching us on Twitch this afternoon. And again, if you're just hearing that here in the warehouse, you know, if you follow us on Twitch, that helps us out. Subscriptions help us out too. Subscription is like $5 a month. And a chunk of that goes directly to the league. So that's always a help. Plus, likes and subscribes, as they always say on YouTube, helps boost your visibility. We love the people that are watching us on Twitch. If you want a shout out, try to get word to us. We'll do what we can. That's Muerta for the Brutal Beauties. And Muerta's out and clear as your lead jammer for the beauties. Tornado Alley is fighting to get through. Good block there along the front by Enema Burns. Clearing Tornado Alley out of the pack. So now Muerta's almost exactly half a track ahead and is gonna go along the rail, run right through. Muerta runs right through and calls it off. You'd heard us mention previously the minor assaults and that our, our next bout on November 11th is gonna feature a minor assaults mashup. Of course, there's many skaters on all of our home teams that are minor assaults that have graduated from the program. Muerta is one of those. We just wanted to, be, yeah, there we go. A big cheer for the minor assaults. This is gonna be Skeletori for the Brutal Beauties, Dirty Carry for the Bombshells, a matchup we've seen a few times. Tori is up to the front of the pack, and then, oh, Skid Vicious up to the defense at the front of the pack there. Tori tried to go around both sides, and Skid was on it. Dirty Carry gets through. Tori's still weaving through, and now Tori got four nice seal blocks from all of those blockers on the Brutal Beauty, so Tori gets out. Now fighting through, Dirty Carry weaves down, gets around Kitch, and that'll do it. That jam is called. Four more points for the bombshells. We're under a minute to go here in regulation. 174-110. This could be the last jam of regulation. We'll have to see. Princess Slaya for the Brutal Beauties. Yeah. Tornado Alley for the bombshells. And there they go. They're both out at the same time, and Tornado Alley calls it off. All right. Tornado Alley calls it off. Again, it's just, it's just weird. Nobody wants to challenge Slaya. Isn't that just weird? Isn't that just strange? I'm looking over at Slaya's fans. Yeah, another jammer race. Quarter clock has expired, so this is the last jammer regulation. That's Dirty Carry and Evil Twin. Dirty Carry for the Bombshells, Evil Twin for the Brutal Beauties. Bombshells now are just going to try to not get any penalties as assessed to them as Evil Twin gets out of the pack. If the bombshells can skate penalty free, there will not be any bonus jams or penalty jams is what they're technically called at the end. So those five bombshells at the back of the pack are basically just kind of trying to stand there and be in the way without extending their arms or going in any direction or touching anybody in any fashion. You will watch the bombshells now act like they are dish soap amongst dirty water and trying not to touch anything. 
acting like a severely hydrophilic substance being dropped into a bucket full of H2O. Once again, there's the bombshells, just trying to sort of be in the way. Evil Twin ducks to the inside and just has to skate around several bombshell obstacles. Two seconds, one second, and that'll do it. The clock expires. Cheer goes up from the crowd. The bombshells did appear to try to skate as clean as possible. We're going to check on the final score here. The bombshells contingent seems to sense that this one could be over. We're checking on it. Here comes head referee, Ref Boy RD. And with this whistle, that is it. With the final score of 174-120, they gave them hell, bombshells. Come on down trackside, slap the track, and talk to your favorite skaters. The bombshells move to one and one on the season. An excellent win. It's worth pointing out, and not in any sort of mocking way, that the bombshells had not won last season, as everybody knows. So they had, we were on a six game losing streak since COVID had ended, and that was an emphatic victory and a great way to put that streak to bed. Brutal Beauties now are gonna come around, an excellent effort from the Beauties. As Sandy had said, they did get behind early, but no quit. That lead never got any more than it was. So the Beauties pretty much, besides those three early power jams, all played pretty much even throughout the rest of the bout. So an excellent effort from both teams, and congratulations again to the Bombshells. That one feels good, I am sure. Nothing quite like breaking a skid.